Hey guys, so since that last video, I have still been selling sunglasses mainly and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm still getting stuff from the thrift store and all that. But since then, I've been able to work out a, uh, a deal where I help sell items for a store and then I give them their proceeds. I get a little bit, they get their part and everyone's happy. So it's a thrift store, I'm not gonna mention which one, but I get a lot of cool stuff, so there's gonna be a lot of cool new content coming up uh, and things that I find, so check it out. All right, so these are some of the items that I picked up the other day at the thrift store. You don't need to see me, you just wanna see the items. And there's sunglasses again. And I'll show you now. So I got a pair of Hill figures, Tommy Hill figure. These I'll probably get about ten dollars for. These here, they're called Warby Parker, and this brand some of you might know, some of you might not, but they're a very quality brand. And I think these are, yeah, these are just regular sunglasses. Uh, let's see if you can see the name. Nope. Yeah, maybe a little bit Warby Parker. Okay. And these are called Warby Parker Piper. So if you want to look that up and see what the price is, it says Warby, Par Warby Parker Piper 946. I'm going to take a wild guess that these are probably worth used maybe about $30. 20, 30, 40. Yeah. So it's very sought out. I got these Michael Kors. They're scratched up. I don't know if you can see those scratches. But I'm going to see what I can get for them. The rest of them are in okay condition, and believe it or not, people do buy scratched lenses, especially for the frames. Even though these you can't replace, or I guess you can, but either way, I probably will get 10 bucks for these if I decide to sell them, which i sh sure I will. Not sure about these, but these are prescription, but they're a cool, cool color and uh, good quality, and I know they're going to sell. Uh, I'll probably get 20 bucks for these. All right, this is a cool find. You don't see these too often. I found two Costa sunglasses. Now, they're beat up and stained. This is a stain, I don't know why it's got that stain on there, but the rest of it's in pretty good shape. The lenses are scratched too, but uh, let's see. I'm gonna try to take that stain out. I doubt it'll come out. I don't know. I don't know if it's sellable or not. I don't know if anyone's going to want to wear that. But uh, if I do sell it, I might sell it for 20 bucks. If they weren't stained, I'd probably get 50 Oakley's. Uh, oh, I didn't do the other Costas. Sorry. <laughs> these are the other Costas. And these are called Costa Blackfin. Very cool. I think the lenses are glass. And these will probably sell for, yeah, about 40, 50 bucks. These are some, oops, hello. Hello. These are uh, Oakley's and they are real. See the lettering inside. And these are called Oakley Batwolf. And lenses super scratched up. Frame's okay. Uh, this one's uh, got the O logo there, but it's missing there. But you could buy those separate and put them on. So for these frames, because I'm selling them just as the frame, I'll probably still get about 40 bucks for these. 30, 30 to 40 bucks. Actually, more like 30 because it's missing that. So I'll probably get $30 for this. So we've got just approximate. We've got 30, maybe 20. Uh, for sure, I want to say 40 on these. So what do we got there? 30, uh, 50, 40 on these, that's 70. At least uh, close to 100 bucks and in value. And I spent $2. I'm rounding it up too, because I think I paid $1.75. But anyway, let me show you some more stuff. All right, I've got these awesome uh, fire trucks and a rescue one. 
Uh, this is by Nyland. And they're metal. And they're in awesome shape. Got the ladders. It's uh, functional. Wait, it's going to go away. There it is. It's functional. Paid $12.99 for it. In really good shape. And for that, I researched it already. Uh, I should be able to get about... I'm going to try to get $75 to $100 for it. And this one here is the Rescue Pumper, which is an, also in really good shape. And I got that one for $6.99. And I should sell that one for at least $40, $50. Bucks. So I'm hoping to make up to $150 off of these two items. Yep. Okay, so I found these bookends not that tie but these bookends at a thrift store it was pretty cool um they had them sitting there i think i ended up paying about ten dollars for them uh it's tweety and sylvester the only thing is that they're missing stuff uh this is missing a flower here and there's a cord that goes from the phone to the to this part of the phone and that's missing too but they're still nice and I know someone's gonna probably pick them up so believe it or not I still put them up for 40 bucks and I think I paid yeah 10 or 12 bucks for them I got them up for 40 bucks let's see what happens this was a cool find this is uh, Vivian Lee a Vivian Lee cutout from uh, Gone in the Wind Gone Gone in the Wind I think that's the name of the movie and uh, it's pretty cool 17 inches to cut out it's, I'm selling it for the store, it's not mine. But uh, I got it up for like about 50 bucks right now. And I'm gonna see if someone gets it. It does have that scratch there. It actually looks part of the dress. Huh. Anyways. I found this very interesting. This is a Star Wars Kyber crystal. I don't know, look at how small it is, all right? And if you find this, if you see this at a at a thrift store or something pick this up because i these are selling for about 50 dollars or more each on ebay and i've already sold the yellow one and now i've got this one up for sale and it should sell pretty soon too don't ask me what it is because i don't know maybe you guys can answer me because i it's some kind of crystal has something to do with lightsabers but i like this piece here it is a it's a uh, i'm not sure the metal but it's uh, made in Japan, and it's an elephant, so you can see the size, and it is a lighter, and it's very cool. It has, um, I, I'm selling this for the store also, and this thing comes out. It's in good shape. See that? They just got to fill it up with the gas, and it's, it's, look, length is good, so... I got this up for 40 bucks, and uh, again, I'm paying, it, I'm selling it for the store and um but another th item to look out for okay so let me show you a little something of what you should look for uh when at least for sunglasses like i said this is still one of my main focuses a couple of brands to look out for that you wouldn't think would make you some decent money and uh first brand is called blenders that's their sign there it's like a triangle uh they have uh this double stripe on the side of their stems so and it says blenders inside uh, it's hard to see but it does say it uh, blenders you can get anywhere as long as they're in decent condition you can get twenty to thirty dollars a pop on these that's good money diff uh, diff brand you might have heard of them you might not diff -F, same thing uh, it looks like a low-cost brand but these will sell this pair right here will probably sell for like forty bucks they're pretty nice. Uh, but on average, on diffs, you'll probably get 20 to 30, 15 to $30 a pair. And Under Armour, believe it or not, Under Armour has good selling glasses. Uh, I know a lot of people might consider them as like, you know, I don't know. But uh, I know I did at one point. But no, these things are worth money. So like these here in particular are probably worth about 30 40 uh, these are probably like worth 20. 
uh, but they do sell. So uh, Under Armour, Blenders, and Diff Brand, pick those up uh, for a good price. You should make some money. So I, I thought we would check these out and just see what, what we can come up on the price on these. So let's try it out. I think these I said these were called the Black Fin. Yeah. So Costa Black Fin. Let me see. Yeah, they're good. The lenses are really good, actually. They're in really good shape. So let's flip this camera around and see how much they cost. All right. So I'm, coast, I'm just going to type in Costa and Black Fin. There it is. Okay, so then we're gonna go to pre-owned. There's only eight. And I'm trying to look for one similar to mine. That looks kind of similar. That one's going up for 110, that's insane. Okay, let's see. Sold, oops, that was not sold. Oh yeah. All right, so let's see. They like the green, the green one, similar to that. 95 bucks, 60 bucks. That one's more like, no. Nine or, or similar. Either way, we're definitely looking at a good price. Uh, I'll probably put them up for 75 bucks stay right in the middle there and just get something sell it quick and make my money and move on that's an awesome find all right so now we're going to check these oakleys and see what that's all about and i think i said these were called the oakley black dog what was it bat wolf this is bat wolf and that's the number i'm actually going to put in sorry that's the number you have to put in to uh find out what you have so let's let's do it oh oh nine one zero one i'm just going to put that in for now Oh, so I went already to the sold listings, and this is like a brown. The lenses are shot, so I'm only selling the frame, so we're looking for just the frame. $61.95 for that one, so that one looks brown. Oh, man, if the lenses were good. So I'll probably get 50 bucks, like I said, for these because it's missing the thing, but I might. No, yeah, I'll probably just get 40 because it's missing the all. But that's still good. All right, so yeah. Okay, so I hope you got something out of that today. Uh, I'll have more stuff for you uh, probably next week. I'm gonna try to post as much as I can, see how much I can help you out. My goal is for you guys to get something out of this. And uh, if you're looking to be a reseller or whatever the case, uh, hopefully this helps you. You can find some things to look for, look for some things to buy, see what they're worth. And uh, that's really my goal. So good luck guys, see you next time.